As the daylight fades and shadows creep, ghouls and spirits wake from their sleep. They gather now to dance and roam, haunting every path from home. So if you'd rather they not appear, keep vigil candles burning near. Their flickering light might hold them back, and guard your steps along the track. And fear not, these vigil candles come in 16 colors. And with Taidipa the installed, you can have 16 more colors. If you ever find yourself in the need of a candle or a flower to honor a lost pet, the village graveyard has plenty to offer. These can be found in every biome villages are found in. Plains, taiga, savanna, desert, and snowy areas. But be mindful not to disturb the resting places. There is one who sees the graveyard's every need. Known only as the Grave Tender. He performs the unappreciated dirty work of the village, tending to the graves and making sure all souls of the lost ones move on calmly. He offers his wares shovels, lanterns, vigil candles, and more. They even trade for their silver. By now, during editing here, this is a small thing and I don't have a footage of this, but they light candles on their own. So. I don't know, I thought that was cool. What does the grave tender need the silver for? Well, simple. The sepulcher, his workstation, which is crafted with seven ingots. This block accepts any rotten or raw meat. And if it gets filled up, it will seal itself shut. And over time, its insides slowly rot away and are cleansed by the silver that is made out of. If you rest it above a campfire, it will hasten the process, and when it reopens, a pile of bones awaits, cleansed by the pure form of silver from the yucky bits. These bone piles can otherwise be found in desert temples, crafted into nine bones, of course. When when you step on them, you'll be buried in slightly. Bone piles also halve your damage when fallen on. It's also a gravity block, allowing for some bony hijinks. Uh, are my glasses blurry? Or is it morning already? Wait, fuck isn't in Minecraft. Not be the new mischievous spirit. The Holler is a first mob organized at. It frequents between the realm of the dead and ours, and through its shrieks, you can sometimes hear the voices of those that have passed. If it sees you, it will give you the fog effect, which makes you see. well, fog. As well as these ground level clouds. Also, these clouds over water. All the usually spawn around mornings, so this way you kinda get the morning fog. They are repulsed by vigil candles, which give you the warding effect. And if you want to get rid of the fog effect, just stand near one. Holores are not in this realm to fight, unlike an a certain relative of theirs. If you try to attack them, they will fly into the ground and escape back where they came from. 
there is only one thing that can prevent them from fully escaping, and that is the jukebox. However, be careful if you do this, because despite their size, their vengeance can catch up with you. If you kill too many of these near your base, you might find an unpleasant surprise in the evening, because when they escape from this realm, they create these burial mounds. If you let these unattended, undead will rise out of them in the evening. Also, if you break them, the same thing will happen. Only way to really competent is by placing block over each one. Or, you know not try to hit the haulers you know you can just get vigil candles and you don't have to deal with this and this is it actually this is not right now at the moment update for organized since we want this to qualify for spooky jam and you need to have a separate mod so this is an add-on for organized for now also this isn't even all of the features. There is some more things planned, so stay tuned. Uh, like and subscribe, and have a safe Halloween. Hopefully, I get to code. I hopefully get to edit this thing in time. I'm recording this on the 30th of October. Oh my god, uh, it, this is frustrating. <laughs> also, I apologize if this video felt a bit it's imposterish, since I come from a country where we don't really celebrate Halloween at all. But I still want to make something relating to it. I really like it, even from afar. Yep. See you. Also, massive thanks to Meva Yukar, who is the person who works on supplementaries and worked on uh, some parts of this update. Um, the villager, the... The, the graveyards and uh, one feature which I will show in future video. Uh, Taser who worked on haulers and Nick who worked on the rest and kind of put it all together. Uh, thank you all so much. Also, thanks Ferch for his song, his song for the fog area and afterlife music disc and the Noella for some of the textures and models. Uh, thank all of you so much. Uh, yeah.